Hey guys, hello from Nürnberg. It's been a little while since we shared about what's happening in Ukraine and how we continue to serve and help. Right now we actually have an outreach team here on outreach in Germany from Ukraine, from YWAM Ternopil. And I'm joined by Ruslan, who's part of the leadership team for the YWAM Center there in the city in Ukraine. And so just wanted to take a moment to ask him a few questions and kind of hear what's going on um, what's happening and also how can we continue to be praying and supporting um, the needs in Ukraine. So welcome, Ruslan. Thank you so much. Uh, yeah, I'm Ruslan Baradin from uh, Chernobyl. Uh, I have a wife and two kids. Uh, uh, currently, they're outside of uh, Ukraine, but uh, we're, uh, I am involved with uh, leading the team uh, uh, from Ukraine, DTS, uh, <clears throat> to Europe, uh, which was kind of a strange idea, but uh, we feel like the Lord led uh, us to that. And uh, technically, there, uh, the, in the beginning, there were 24 students from all over Ukraine, mostly from the eastern part of Ukraine, and uh, lots, of, uh, lots of them are displaced. Uh, some of them don't have a place to go back to. Uh, they don't have their home. They don't have their city. Uh, some of them are from Mariupol. I'm sure you've heard of that, where uh, it was just uh, instant, uh, just bombing, shelling that happened there, and people lost their homes and loved ones. And the, uh, the ones that were able to get out, they uh, were blessed. And uh, some of them are with us in the uh, team. And uh, there are some uh, other groups that are in Ukraine, serving in Ukraine as well. And then, uh, yeah, so we have uh, a team here. How did that come together where you guys actually started a DTS, a mission school, in the middle uh, of when the war is going on? Yeah, it was uh, crazy, actually. Whose idea was that? <laughs> uh, actually, it was not my idea. Uh, I wish I could claim that, but uh, uh, we had several uh, guys in leadership. Uh, Andrew Ford, he is one of the leaders, conveners in YWAM Ukraine, and also uh, Yaroslav, he's uh, our co-leader, and uh, Andre. So it was kind of God-led. And so just one day I was like, oh man, there's people, mostly refugees, living at the YWAM Center, and then say, hey, let's, let's run a mission school, let's run a DTS, people are hungry to grow with God. Yeah, at first, uh, from the very first day of war, we had uh, hundreds of people going through the base, and we literally turned all the, our facilities into uh, lodging for them, and we uh, turned the lecture rooms into just uh, mattresses on the floor, and people we never met, uh, Christians, non-Christians, smokers, non-smokers, they all uh, stayed and uh, we provided uh, lodging and food for them. Because yeah, here in Nuremberg, we had around 50 people at one point, but you guys, you guys had many more. You just had tons of people flowing through. Yeah, it's uh, God's grace. And, uh, you know, when people are in need, uh, God gives strength. And, uh, yeah, thank you for everybody that participated in that. And so a lot of the... Uh, the food and aid that we sent from Nuremberg. A lot of you guys gave financially, donated food. It actually went oftentimes through Wyoming to Nopil. Sometimes yeah. you guys yeah. would distribute it there. Yeah. And then other times you guys would send it on to Kiev. Yeah, we uh, actually just uh, redistribute it uh, when we get stuff. And uh, we will have uh, vehicles come over from all over Ukraine. We made sure that uh, it was legit people that uh, we knew that uh, it was going to go uh, appear in the hands that need that. What is the situation like now? It's been, I don't know how long, but almost nine, ten months uh, th that the war has been going on. What is the situation? I know winter's coming, it's getting colder. No. What are the needs? What's the reality? Yeah, things are not uh, looking very bright for the whole nation. Uh, actually, about two weeks uh, ago, uh, the enemy started destroying the uh, infrastructure of Ukraine, uh, destroying power grid, uh, expecting that uh, people will start uh, leaving the country more, uh, and also discouraging their sons and uh, brothers and fathers 
that are fighting in the war from fighting because of everything that's uh, happening with them because of war, but uh, uh, people are not giving up. And uh, uh, like my mom, she is in the northwest of uh, Ukraine, and uh, she actually felt the building shake uh, uh, the other Monday, and it was uh, just very scary. She called me, and she was crying, and uh, there was no electricity. Then uh, later on, she had to go to her summer house where uh, they have wood and uh, they could heat the place and uh, they could see the billow of smoke uh, from the explosion of the uh, power substation. And so they didn't have power for probably two days, so they didn't even open the fridge to let the cold air out. And so how is it right now? Is there still a lot of aid coming in or has that been slowing down? It's been dwindling down and, uh, uh, you know, we used to have uh, uh, trucks all the time coming in. Uh, now it's kind of slowed down and people uh, probably, you know, Europe is struggling as well. It's hard to give uh, what you don't have, but yeah. uh, we pray for prosperity for Europe. And uh, uh, so they would have enough and so that uh, they could help for the people. But uh, most of the industrial places in Ukraine are destroyed, and uh, yeah, it's really hard. So the need is there. Winter's rolling in. Um, yeah, we need to continue to see all the things that people need sent. Yeah, yeah. and please uh, don't forget to pray yeah. uh, so that this uh, senseless war would be over as soon as possible because uh, uh, it's not in the interest of uh, yeah, just... Uh, normal, you know, people. Cool. Thanks for joining. Thanks for sharing. It's been a privilege to have you and the outreach team here in Germany serving, reaching out to Ukrainians, particularly here, um, who've been seeking refuge in Germany. And we'll leave some links down below of ways in which you can participate and you can give, um, give financially, uh, or come by here at the YWAM Center in Nuremberg and drop off some food or aid goods that we can uh, help make sure uh, finds its way over to you guys in Ukraine. Thank you so much and thanks for having us here. Okay.